Well, thanks for joining us here tonight. This coming Monday morning will bring a six year wait for justice to an end for the family of 11 year old Josue Flores. He was murdered while walking home from school in broad daylight on the north side, and it shocked Houston. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from downtown as this case now draws towards a trial. Yeah, that's right, Caitlin. Andre Jackson was arrested and charged with murder back in June of 2019. He was first arrested in 2016, but was released due to inconclusive evidence. A jury has been picked and Jackson's murder trial will begin Monday morning. May 17th, next month will be six years. It's just long overdue. It was a heinous crime that sent shockwaves throughout Houston. 11-year-old Josue Flores was walking home from Marshall Middle School just north of downtown when he was stabbed multiple times in broad daylight. All this young boy was doing was kicking rocks and jumping over puddles. And it, it is. It gets us a bit, tad bit emotional, if not a lot of emotional. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just we just want justice and um, comfort for the family. Jose Vega is a spokesperson for the Flores family. The Floreses have waited six years for justice. Vega says the family no longer lives in the north side neighborhood. They just want their the rest of the children to live a normal life and just move forward. And I think that's the right thing that they did. Before Andre Jackson's second arrest for murder in 2019, the Northside community came together to make sure no other children would meet the same horrific fate. What we started doing is watching them when they walked in the morning and watching them when they came back. Uh, you could be sitting in your car, sitting in your porch, have an open window, drinking your coffee. And we taught them how to do this anonymously and what the police needed so that we could catch that suspect. Opening statements in the murder trial are set for this coming Monday morning. Stick with us for the latest on the murder trial. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.